Hello and welcome back. Okay, in the last video, we set up a repeating background by adding a tiling script to our background image, and we cut up another sprite sheet. Now let's explore some of the 2D physics components. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, well, let's see here. I'm going to add this tree branch right here, and we'll put that tree branch, oh, right there, okay? And we need to go ahead and add a physics 2D component, and we'll add a polygon collider. Next, I'm going to grab this mushroom sprite, and we'll put this mushroom sprite right here. I'm going to set the Z location to 1, so that it appears to be behind the uh, floating platform here. And I'm going to add a component to my mushroom. Well, actually, let's go ahead and rename this right now to mushroom. And let's rename this one branch. Okay, so with my mushroom selected, I'm going to add component, physics 2D, polygon collider. And we also need to add a rigid body 2D, so physics 2D, rigid body 2D. Okay, and now I'm going to add the hinge joint. So add component, physics 2D, hinge joint. I'm going to grab the connected anchor right here and place it at the bottom of my mushroom. I'm also going to adjust the main anchor's Y position. So you can see this, uh, let me go ahead and move that over. So there you go. Okay. All right, adjust the Y position. So I want the anchor to be right here, okay? Um, I need to select enable collision so that our sprite can actually you know collide with the other sprites and well i bet if we move this over to the very edge it won't catch and we'll be able to pull this off without too many adjustments we might have to get in here and adjust um a little bit of the collider here in fact just so i can show you how that, that can be done you hit edit collider right here and then you see those little green squares you can kind of move those up or well you can move them anywhere you want to it's just a way to adjust the collider and I want to make sure that the collider is not going to catch right here because I want this to serve as a bridge and so we're gonna move those just a little bit okay all right um, well let's see if that works so we'll press play all right we have our character he's gonna make it over here and the mushroom's tipping the one way, and we hit it, knock it over. Perfect. Well, I don't like how it's floating right there. You see there's that space right here? Okay, we'll have to adjust for that. But as you can see, that's how you can make some elements. Ooh, he barely makes it over. Does he even make it over? He does. All right. And so he's on a new platform now, okay? And, of course, this just stops right here. We'll add some more stuff there later, okay? So... That is one way to use a hinge joint, all right? Um, another way to use the hinge joint is just really to reverse this. So I have this um, plank here, okay? And I'm gonna go ahead and set that plank, oh, right there. We'll give it a rigid body 2D. We will give it a polygon collider. Uh, it could be a, I'm gonna put a polygon collider. It's not quite flat. All right, I kind of cut it out a little bit wavy. So yeah, polygon collider, um, probably not necessary. And then um, physics 2D hinge joint. All right, I'm gonna grab that connected anchor and put it right on the corner, okay? Um, I also want to grab, let's see, the anchor here. For me, the easiest way is just to move it like so. Okay, let's get that in place, like so. So that's where our hinge is going to be. And, you know, I think that maybe we'd want another platform here or something so this doesn't just look like it's floating. But for, you know, demonstrating the hinge, that should work as long as these don't collide. Ah, speaking of, we have to enable collision, or this would actually just spin through the branch. All right, let's go ahead and run the game. All right, so our guy pushes over the mushroom bridge, hops up on it. Oh, I can barely make it up there. You know what? Let's increase his jumping force. So I'm going to select my character, go down to my scripts, 
and we'll change the jump force to 800. That'll give them enough, uh, enough jumping power. Okay. Oh yeah, much better. So, knocks over the bridge, jumps over it. Okay, and so here you go. This hinge here is something that we can manipulate like so. Now, for example, you could have another platform up here, and the only way you can get to that platform is go up this, and then you can make it to where once you cross that area, you can't go back. You have to go up on here, and then maybe you have more platforms up here or something like that. Um, a lot of times with the physics 2D components set as they are on my mushroom, you can kind of ride those. Yeah, look at that. So <laughs> there's, you know, um, some interesting things I'm sure you could do just playing around with the hinge joint like that. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at another 2D component.